He came up with an ingenious way of getting rid of the city's plastic waste by making eco-friendly posts from recycled plastic. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to our channel. Opening your own business is one of the ways to make the most money as you're in charge of your growth and hence that drives the greatest motivation to stay committed and excel. In today's world, it's becoming increasingly difficult to sustain the growth of business given the intense competition that envelops almost all industries. But have you ever wondered about making money out of the trash that someone dumped into a dustbin? Here are five people who got rich with one dollar. Number five, Andrew Mapuya. When he chose to take on the planet, award-winning visionary Andrew Mapuya was only 16 years old. That was sometime in 2008 when Mapuya's parents both lost their life savings and were only able to afford to pay for his school fees. I had to get by myself to meet my basic needs, remembers the Ugandan businessman. I decided to face the world alone. The government of Uganda unintentionally moved to the assistance of Mupuya. Authorities in the nation at the time declared that they were proposing a ban on plastic bags to mitigate ecological damage. This was instantly seen by Mapuya, who was still in secondary school, as a way to introduce a paper bag production company. Mapuya found out he required the funding of 36,000 Ugandan shillings, or $14, to start his small company. He received the first $11 from a week-long auction of 70 kilos of used plastic bottles that he had bought. Mapuya then borrowed the residual $3 from a school teacher and proceeded on a small-scale business trip to manufacture paper bags. Ever since, the venture has expanded significantly and currently, at the maturity of 21, Mapuya is the founder of Youth Entrepreneurial Connection Investments, Yelly, the very first Ugandan registered company to manufacture paper bags. The impressive accomplishments and astute business acumen of Mapuya have been honored in recent years with a variety of awards. Mapuya received the $30,000 Anzisha Prize in 2012, a significant appreciation given to young African business leaders who rise to the occasion to fix crucial needs in their populations. Andrew Mapuya, the founder and CEO of Youth Entrepreneurial Link Investments. I'm 20 years old, I'm from Kampala in Uganda. Number 4. Tato Katlaanye and Ria Betwi Nguyen Human development, along with social life personification, is set to new levels by Ria Betwi Nguyen and business partner Tato Katlaanye. Via their company Radaka, the two megamonds build school bags that do more than just hold books. They help kids read them too. Radaka uses plastic bags and transforms them into school bags with solar thermal packs built in. Out of a college project, this creative and easy approach to a widespread issue was created. The concept came to Kat Lanye, and predictably, the young woman was declared first runner-up at the Anzisha Prize last year. She received $15,000 as a runner-up, which became venture funding to turn her idea into a profitable Northwest company, recruiting eight people. According to them, these packs are charged all day in the sunlight while children are at school and are fully charged when the sun goes down, providing light for doing homework or walking home safely. Before winning the prize, her initial investment in the idea was as low as a dollar and the Mega Minds transformed a single dollar into a prize that was properly utilized to grow their business. The Repurpose School Bag, a child's companion in learning who stays Number 3. Bethlehem Tillahun Alamu Bethlehem Tillahun Alamu has created Soul Rebels into the quickest increasing African footwear company on the globe from the most modest of foundations. She has generated world-class jobs, inspired her people and nation while providing the international market with a reinforced, vibrant expression of African innovation. Bethlehem Chilahun Alamu was raised and educated in one of Ethiopia's most poor and disadvantaged neighborhoods, the Zenebo work. As Bethlehem grew up, Ethiopia had more than enough charitable brands, but not a specific flagship leader of its own. So she thought about changing all of that, squeezing into the resources and identity of her culture and the wealthy entrepreneur countries, she began on her venture to revolutionize footwear in the continent of Africa. 
Bethlehem established the pioneering footwear company Soul Rebels in early 2005 straight out of college in Addis Ababa to provide stable community-based work. Soul Rebels is the world's first and only fair trade accredited footwear company from the World Fair Trade Federation and the very first global footwear company to ever come from a developing economy. Now lauded as the Nike of Africa, Bethlehem is honored that Soul Rebels serves as a daily reminder that the only path to shared responsibility and prosperity for developing nations such as Ethiopia is to build groundbreaking world-class labels. Bethlehem is at the forefront of a new wave of representation of African founders, young leaders who are joining the international market and competing at an unparalleled pace. I am an entrepreneur. I am based here in Addis. Actually, I started this company uh, almost six years ago. Number two, Lorna Rutto. Lorna Rutto is an ecopreneur from Kenya and an inspirational leader of EcoPost, a nonprofit organization founded in answer to the need to explore possible approaches to the massive issue of plastic waste in Kenya. She created her company in 2009, which gathers plastic waste and produces financially successful, highly versatile, and ecologically sustainable fencing stations. The renowned Cartier Women's Initiative Awards honored Lorna as their laureate for the Sub-Saharan African continent. As a teenager, upbringing in Kenya's Cap Temba slum areas, Lorna Rutto witnessed more than her due proportion of deprivation, malnutrition, road sewage and decaying squander, and blocked up spilling sewer lines entering the households of residents. As a young schoolgirl, when she discovered the vast quantities of plastic pollution infesting the world, her eco-consciousness reared its head. She wanted to begin to make a small change by melting the plastic, realigning and repainting it into new items to remedy the problem, processing this plastic debris, and creating imaginative pieces of jewelry and delicate adornments. She sold her artistic work at school for small amounts of cash to other students and colleagues, but it was a good start towards becoming more concerned about the environment. He came up with an ingenious way of getting rid of the city's plastic waste by making eco-friendly posts from recycled plastic. Number 1. Bilikis Adibi Abiola In 2012, We Cyclers was started by Bilikis Adibi Abiola and her co-founders leveraging moderate cargo bicycles called We Cycles to provide communities across Nigeria with accessible collection and disposal. She was born and bred in Lagos where she got her scholarship and was a student at MIT Sloan School of Management. Bilikis created the vision for her company during her university period. She was also very involved in environmental protection since pollution is something that she encountered everywhere as a Nigerian and she decided to overcome the issue. Bilikis was compelled to work on seeking a much needed and successful new approach to the waste management issue back to her country of origin, Nigeria. The Lagos slums, where approximately 66% of Lagosians reside, are offered waste reuse and disposal services by her organization. As a step of the procedure, inhabitants are allowed to recycle their household waste that is collected by we cyclers free of charge using uniquely engineered bicycles. Rewards are given to them for every kilogram reused through metrics sent by SMS to build encouragement among close to zero income households to engage. These points can then be exchanged against things they enjoy, such as minutes from mobile phones or essential grocery items. Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and don't forget to do the regular like, share, and subscribe so we can provide more content such as this in the future. And with that, I'll be catching you guys later in the next video. Bye now!